Here's an example of family tree details in a spreadsheet where the name details are in a single column, full name, where the format is surname, comma, space, and then one or more first and middle names. I'm going to show you how to split a single cell full name into a separate first and last name column. The first way I'm going to show you is most suitable when most of your names have a single first name. In other words, you don't have a whole lot of entries with one or more middle names that would look something like this. If most of your data tends to have just the first name, then the simplest way to split is to use the inbuilt text to column feature. Now, the first thing to do before you use it is to be sure that you have enough space to the right of your full name column to hold a first name and a last name. The reason being is if you actually ran the feature on this data here, it would overwrite the details in column B. And so before you start, give yourself enough space to work with. To solve this problem, I'm going to work in a fresh sheet where I simply copied the single column I want to work with into a new sheet. To use the text to column split feature, I'm going to highlight the column I want to work with, go to the data tab, and scroll over here to the right to the data tools section where you will see the text to columns button. Click on that and it opens the convert text to columns wizard. And the first question you're asked is to choose the type of data that you're working with and leave it at the default as delimited. So just click next on this particular page and then you get to choose the actual delimiters. If you haven't used the text to columns wizard before, then it is going to set you as a default of a tab delimiter, which is not what you want. If we look at the data preview, there are no tabs in our data. So splitting by tab just it doesn't split the data at all. Nor would the semicolon work. I'm going to deselect the tab, which as you can see has no effect. And now I'm going to select the comma. And the comma, you can see immediately splits the data, everything except for that first title row, into two. It's found the comma and it's split it left and right. But if you look carefully, you'll also notice that there is an extra space that leads the second column. Our delimiter is not just a comma, it's the comma followed by a space. So I'm going to choose the space as well, and that gives me exactly what I want. I click next. I can now choose the data type of the column. You can set it to text if you want. I'm going to leave it as general, and then I click finish. And that has split the data mostly according to what we want. Notice that it's also split the title between full and name, so we can adjust this. This is the last name. This is the first name. Bold that, and I will give it spacing. I said this is the most suitable method if most of your data has a single first name. As we scroll down, we notice that Marianne here has a name with a hyphen in it, but that's fine. It's treated as a single first name. McGrath here, didn't have a first name at all. That's fine, we get a space. But we get this odd detail for Alice McKee. The reason we're seeing Mac as, as the sole last name, then the first name of Key, and then Alice over here to the right, is that there was a space in the surname of McKee. In other words, the name had looked like this in the data with a space. The text of column sees the space and splits it. So we need to clean that up. By cleaning it up, I just simply type in what I want. I might preserve the space and then capitalize the key. And then I need to move Alice here. And then as I scroll down, this particular mulligan had a first name and two middle names, Hugh, Peter, Charles. And this was Analyza Mulvaney. Now you may like this format. You could with this the middle name, middle name two, for example, if that's how you want. But you may prefer to have Hugh Peter Charles in this single column and Analyzer in this column. It's up to you. You just need to clean up the data. If your data was kind of 50-50, so you had thousands of 
rows of which 500 had multiple middle names and you wanted all the middle names to be in a single column, then this text to column split wizard isn't going to work for you because you just have too much cleanup to do. Where is it good for? If I toggle over to the companion article, there's a link in the description below to this article. We show you how it works on, this was the second format we look at in the, in the article, which is what we've just looked at here, the surname, comma, space, first name. But the text to column feature also works perfectly on this simple format of first name, space, surname. In this case, when you go to the wizard and you're offered the delimiters, all you need to choose is the space. There is no comma and it'll split it nicely. But if you have more complex formats, such as something that looks like this, Mary, Mabel, Sarah, as we saw, if you have suffixes, if you have prefixes, then the text to columns is going to not work so well on those particular rows. An alternative method to split names, whether you're working with a simple formatted list of names or names with a more complex format, is to use Excel formulas. The companion article, if I go up to the table of contents here, provides several different formulas for different formats of names. Here's a sample Excel spreadsheet, first name, last name. This is the formula that splits the first name into column B. It basically works by finding the space and taking the letters to the left of that space. And then the formula in column C again finds the space, but takes the letters to the end of the string. The next tab in this sample spreadsheet has formulas that work on the simple format of last name, comma, space, first name. The formulas really come into their own in the examples in the next tab, where we have a varying number of first and middle names followed by the last name. This is what the text of columns are difficulty dealing with. In this case, we have a single formula that works regardless of the number of first and middle names. And then the formula in column C extracts the last name again, regardless of how many first and middle names there are. And then if your data is formatted last first plus a variable number of middle names. Again, we have the formulas for you. These formulas are in our companion article. Here, for example, is the formula to extract the first and any middle names and put them into, let's say, cell B. So this would be in cell B1 and it's working on something like this in cell A1. And similarly, we've got the formula to work on the names when they're in this format. And again, they're here for copy and paste. Now the problem, and I haven't been able to find a way around it, is that when you copy and paste from a web page into Excel, you, what you'll often find is that Excel says the formula doesn't work. There's some problem with it. The problem is with these quotes in that they are in a different format between the HTML web page and the Excel document, they get a bit messed up. That's, I'll just show you an example of what might happen. If I copy this and go to this page here, this is, you may see, it's the same formula, right? Control V here, and then I just press enter. Yeah, Excel doesn't like it. The reason it doesn't like it is you can see the second half of a pair of quotes there. Those quotes are curly. Now, in my web page, I have them as straight quotes, but when they copy over, for some reason, it goes in as curly quotes. Now, there's different ways of sorting that. One way to fix this problem is to copy it first into, let's say, Notepad, and you can see immediately that these quotes, well, they look different to what we want. We want straight quotes. And from here, you can amend it to straight quotes and here, and then this shouldn't have a problem then when you paste this amended string into cell b1 there's a problem i think the problem was with that hyphen yeah so just yeah that i think is a, it's a different it's a slightly shorter hyphen so i think this should work There we go. So a little bit of trial and error, but in order to make your life easier, I have taken this Excel sample, turned it into a template where you've got the examples that you can 
just copy from this set of tabs whichever one that you need that suits your data it's available for free download up on our web store on gumroad there is a link to go and get it hopefully that helps